Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video today. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Google Voice in 2022. Now recently, there was an update that um, Google did and um, they actually, uh, you know, cancelled and then deleted some of their old logins, you know, the old logins there. That is the domain log and all of that. But recently, we used the at gmail.com. Recently, people are having issues with confirming their Google Voice number on WhatsApp, you know, and um, that's what I'll be treating today, confirming your Google Voice number on WhatsApp. It is also an issue like Google Voice don't send code like usual. Before, all we do is, you know, we we'll go to the Google Voice normally. So right here, I'm going to log. Before, what we do is, you know, log in the Google Voice in our phone with VPN or sometimes without VPN. And um, we're going to like add this number on WhatsApp and um, take code from the Google Voice app. As easy as that. But recently, Google Voice don't send code again. So I'm going to show you the method to confirm your WhatsApp number, which is the Google Voice number on WhatsApp. And if that's what you want to know, please stick to the end of this video. Welcome back. Now I'm going to be logging in one Google account right here. I'm going to log in one Google account here. Now this is my Nigerian uh, Gmail account, so it's not going to work. I'm going to sign in a Google account that has um, Google Voice. That is Google Voice activated. So I have one here. Jeez. So right now I have logged in a Google account that is, um, you know, that is a Google Voice activated. So this number can work for creating WhatsApp, obviously, and uh, it's a US number, so it's going to work for just US. If it's UK and other countries, it won't work for Google Voice. Google Voice accepts only US. As you can see, the area code there is seven o seven. It's one location in USA. So. Um, I'm going to try opening a WhatsApp, you know, with this phone number here. I'm going to try opening a WhatsApp with my other phone here. It will be displayed on the screen here. So what I'm going to do is open WhatsApp. I'm using WhatsApp Business. Although if you're using this um, Google Voice, you're not advised to use WhatsApp Business. But for I'm using this to illustrate. So I'm going to using a WhatsApp Business app. So it's going to be easy. I'm going to add. First of all, it's going to be plus one, obviously. Then seven o seven. Three nine four six nine one five. So we're going to ask me. I'm going to click on OK. Now, as you can see, that error there. Actually, I've never seen that kind of like error like so fast. But nothing is not possible. Some some things are possible with this. Google voice number. So what is showing us now is normally I supposed to like the code supposed to be displayed here. They're supposed to send the code here. Like on a norm. When I refresh you're supposed to get a confirmation code from WhatsApp server. But as you can see it's not uh, okay, it's not showing yet. That is the problem people are facing. Now it's also possible on phones, you know, it doesn't show like this is where it's supposed to show this area. But it's not showing anything. It's only showing the welcome to Google Voice, you know, that stuff before. That's all is there, but that is not the main thing. So the the way to get code now is very simple. What we have to do now is go to your settings here. On your phone too, there's a different uh, format for it, but the same thing, just locate the settings by the you know the I think the top left corner. You have to slide on top left corner on your phone and you see the settings. Uh, you can select the settings. But here you just click on that setting. And then scroll down to. You have to scroll down. What are we going to do? You're going to scroll down and select "Do not disturb." Send call to voice me. So you have to switch this on. After that, you are good to go. Then cancel your settings and go back to the home page. Now, when the code comes, the code won't come in message here, but it will come in your voicemail. So we're going to receive this stuff in the voicemail. I'm sorry. We're going to receive this. 
I'm going to be receiving the voice message instead of the message because there was no message from the um, from WhatsApp earlier. So I'm going to receive it from the voice message, obviously. Now, now that we have um, activated that setting, they do not disturb. You know, it's going to be like a voicemail and it will come as voicemail instead of as message. So on the phone here, we'll now click call me. Click on call me and we'll request the call. So the call we're going to get there is a voicemail. I'm going to, you know, play the code and input the code here. So we'll have to wait for the call, for the voicemail, sorry. So as you can see, it just came in now from 657-999-1951. So this is one of the WhatsApp um, from WhatsApp servers, obviously. So this is it. We're going to like play this sound and we'll get the code. Your verification code is 5960335. Your verification code is 5960335. So as you can see, it's complete. So you now click on not now and then uh, you know just you can add the remaining settings by yourself. So it's obviously so easy to do and it's not hard. This works so well on your phone, like you must not use a laptop to log in your you know your gym uh, Google Voice login like the Gmail. You must not use your laptop. You can also use your phone and sometimes people do have issues, you know, logging in with the uh, let's well let me save this thing as let's use a category let's say category education okay initializing so it will register like a normal whatsapp like a normal whatsapp would do so if you can also you can um, add up this um if you don't have the google voice app you know, on your phone for android i have the link in the description box below and as well if you want the google voice app on your um, iphone device a different method of downloading this app to your phone as well and um, the method is quite not too simple though because you require some um, an iCloud and um, US iCloud and other things to require for you to have the app available on Apple Store. So I think I'll make a video on that and if you want a video on that please let me know down in the comment section below as well and I'll do just that.